Signal Chasers. Hello, Internet, and welcome back to Bathroom. So, I was going to try and start this with uh, me sitting on the toilet, but... This is as close as I can get in with the zoom. I do miss having spectator cam, but uh, let's get light so we can actually see. So, I have some plans for this bathroom uh, and the rest of the living area here. But let's look around and look at some of the other things, which actually I need to be out here for. Uh, some of the things I did off camera. It's been, so I did this yesterday. Uh, it, I, I don't exactly remember time frames, but it's been a period of time since the last episode. I did this yesterday and this is the first time coming back to it. And that really does, like that sells the illusion quite well of a... Uh, sort of exposed piping. My idea was uh, sort of akin to Star Wars and its excessive greeble. Uh, I wanted like, you know, the sleek lines of the hole, but areas where there weren't the street, the sleek lines, I kind of wanted, you know, exposed stuff. And since we have these new piping blocks, they're just perfect. So we've got that, we've got the normal pipes and thrusters and everything going on in there. So, I'm on an asteroid that I found, uh, where is, there's that moon I was on. And I should admit, we go around here, I may have ever so slightly crumpled a wing on landing. Uh, and I actually did cook this solar panel, but I already repaired it. Partially because it was throwing sparks that I figured could, uh, you know, indicate my location. Not that that is subtle. So I obviously repeated that same piping pattern around here. Uh, I've got a bit of it around the back here. Now if we look at the back, so I filled in the blocks behind the move back thruster. And I, again, used piping so that from the back, when you look in there, you know, you can see back there, so it looks like it's all exposed machinery. You can kind of see into the piping that I used for the floor of the airlock. And then that's just a, well, that's actually the vent, but, you know, I figured give the back a little bit of shape, make it look intentional that there are you know, cutouts in the armor where the thrusters are. Yeah, I think it works well. Now, uh, actually, first steps for, well, I think first step, let's, uh, let's get gravity on. Uh, and all the, uh, flight systems. And then I think... We're gonna take off and... I can't remember if I'd come to this decision or not. I think I talked about it and then it got confirmed off camera. Uh, I'm going to head to Mars. And the reason I'm going to head to Mars is because when we were off camera, I noticed that uh, it was like 4,100 kilometers away at Mars, an unknown signal, or a strong unknown signal spawned. So that kind of just confirms my theory that we want to be there kind of in the middle so that regardless of where, you know, if something spawns over here, we can jump to it. Something spawns at Earth, we can jump to it. Sort of my goal is to be able to jump to strong unknown signals from anywhere. So I could jump closer, but I think I'm going to cruise at sublight here. Uh, let me slow up a bit just so I can safely move around and design stuff. We'll just kind of keep our eyes out again for asteroids. Same old deal as normal. There's also an added benefit to going to Mars, which is I can check any stations around Mars's moon and see if I can, you know, find something I want. Chiefly, uranium. 
Now, so my idea for this, I realized I had this little one block space here, and I was thinking of various things I could put in there that would make sense right next to the cryopod. I realized if I get rid of this block, which was just the floor, this is actually a two block space. And wouldn't you know it, these are two blocks right here. So I'm gonna move the bathroom ensemble down a level. And that opens up this block here that I can put another solid block thing in. I've actually got some ideas for all of this, but we'll go ahead and get this part done first. This also means the toilet will be going the other way, which means the shower you can't see in. Uh, now you could, in the cryopod, see someone taking, taking a leak, so maybe we'll actually use the one that looks like it has a door even though it doesn't. Hmm. I must not have had all the construction components in this, because I feel like when you grind two things down, you normally get all the components back from them. Let's take a peek, and hmm, there are some asteroids over there. Let's see if they look uranium-y. Uh, hard to know. They have dark spots, but I think that's just rock. Probably just gonna have to, you know, go to one and see what's on it. But we'll do our designing first and then we'll go uranium hunting. So, uh, let's get some steel. So, I want to get rid of this couch. And, uh, let's place some stuff down. So what I'm actually sort of thinking... Is I'm going to use these two blocks. Uh, and do I want both kitchens? Hmm. Let's build them and see how they look together. Yeah, I mean, they work, but it's kind of, might be too much kitchen. I feel like the fact that they're separated, I'd almost need to reverse them. Well, so my idea in general is to use this space, then, so if I put the couch here, I have kind of, you know, comfortable sitting area, I have kitchen here, ooh, maybe, hold up, where is... It's under this. Oh, maybe it's not. Uh, oh. I have to research the entertainment. Oh, I have to build a sound block. Okay, that should be easy. Okay. Good job, sound block. So. Get rid of this kitchen. Uh, realize we don't have enough room for all the stuff. I like the couch here, partially because then we get the little green space at the top of the ladder. Or stair. So we will move this kitchen over, because I think this looks better for a, uh... I you don't know. A one-person space Winnebago. There we go. Then, on this block, we will put the entertainment corner 
So we have our couch here. We've got our TV up here. And then, then I'll figure out what to do with the vent. There we go. Couch with a nice little greenery box in it. Can sit here, watch our television. Then, so for these, how did I do? Right on this side, I stopped covering after this panel. I guess we'll do a similar thing over here. There we go. So those sides now match. We've got light in here. Now if I rotate this vent, I'm kind of thinking I'd go with the traditional vent here. Because I think it'll look more reasonable with this idea. So we've got our air vent. Then... In here we have a little sort of sitting nook desk. And this corner's kinda wish this weren't here, but it's gotta be. Do I like the little desk? My thought here is this would be, you know, little sitting area, somewhere to eat whatever food you've prepared in the kitchen. Because otherwise it would need to go here and block the TV, or block the couch from the TV. I could always... I could always mix things up and have eating stuff in here and like the couch here right in front of the TV. How would that... That's pretty close for a TV that size. You're gonna cook your eyeballs out. And if I put the couch back here, which would make more sense, you then couldn't get to a little eating nook in there. Energy critical. I think we'll go with this. I think that makes sense. Uh. Hold on. Uh oh. Um. I noticed gravity was weird. I now know why gravity was weird. It's because we're in planetary gravity. Oh boy. Uh. Right? Dampener's on. Uh. Speaking of gravity, I wonder if there's any uranium on that asteroid. Or that one. matter. Let's just kind of keep boosting. Hopefully we'll be out of the gravity well soon, I guess. Let's go up from here. And we'll go to this asteroid, just because it's I see it. Hopefully that's outside of the gravity well, uh, and will therefore be a good, safe spot to continue our journey from. Yeah, we're just in gravity, so it should be safe over here. That might be an entire ice asteroid. Hmm. Somewhat tempting. Here's where we're heading. And we're not seeing much color on it. That could be a good sign. There are a lot of them around here. Yeah, it'll probably help. The only uranium I've come across thus far 
has been accidental. Uh, I didn't see it from afar. So it will be helpful to find something that looks like uranium from a distance. Go up to it, determine it's actually uranium, because then I'll know what I'm looking for. Hopefully I'll then be able to distinguish it from the uh, just dark spots on asteroids that are there by nature. No, probably not. Alright. Do we have anything here? seeing anything so far. Well. Actually, that looks... That might be in gravity again. That looks... Exploded-y. Yeah, we'll just continue on our merry way. Well, I need some, uh, oxygen. Okay, onward to Mars to get some fluids. And then, once I'm done with all the design stuff and out of the floor, uh oh. Hmm. Oh, good, the floor's here this time. Yeah, uh, once I'm done with all this. Then we'll do some proper asteroid scouting. Yeah, so we've got a nice little desk right in front of a fan so you'll stay nice and cool. I wonder if it would be better faced the other way. You can see why I didn't think the uh, large spinning turbine air duct would work well here. But at least this has, you know conceptually some uh, shielding to keep it from just blowing straight on you all the time. I think this works. I'll have to set up this light panel, but you know, we've got a nice couch. You can sit here, watch our TV that is a little far away, honestly, but you know, it'll work. Got plenty of room here to, you know, you could have a VR headset. Plenty of room to use that. Little kitchen, little area to eat. Could also, you know, have a laptop. You know, if the game had laptops. Then we've got our bathroom area down here. A cryopod that you can only just not see into the toilet. I guess you'd probably be able to see someone's knee. And then... This is something that just kind of bothers me. Let's, uh... Yeah, we'll go with a full-on 45 degree. Just so it doesn't look like the stairway comes to a weird end. In reality, I probably could have... It, I'd have had to figure out something here, but I could have made these like half blocks and then had a uh, block and a half ceiling down here. That seems kind of overkill. Well, this feels good. On to... Actually, I think next... Let's go ahead. I want three more event controllers. Because I have a method to make the airlocks work. Ooh, and what? Maybe I use this side as a. Oh. Okay, I guess I didn't pick up any. 
uh, actual bits. Okay. So we'll use this little vent as a faux decorative piece. Uh, I guess there. This one doesn't matter because you won't see it. And then that one I've got the bottom bit facing so that the colored lines are there. That'll be neat. So, I want these four vent controllers because I have a system for an airlock uh, that just uses vent controllers and works pretty well, but you need two vent controllers, basically one handling each door of the airlock, and I have two airlocks on this ship, so four vent controllers. Uh, now you could, if you are replicating such an endeavor at home, you could use uh, convert to small grid and then you can fit a lot more vent controllers in a small space, but, you know, I'm not doing that. I already have enough subgrids here and I actually have an idea for uh, adding some more because why not? Now we have our vent controllers, we need to go and name our doors. So from the ship's orientation, this is the starboard airlock. This door will be airlock door starboard int for interior. This one will be starboard X for exterior. And then same over here, but they're port in X and int. So now from here, we can go to our event controllers. Uh, we'll name this one port int. Uh, actually, no, this should be starboard, because this is, this was the original one, which is on the right side of the ship. Uh, I'm doing this by memory, so hopefully it works. Uh, this one will be X. This one will be port int, and... port X. Okay. Now I'm gonna go and move up to the front of the ship because I'm paranoid I'm about to crash oh, into a bunch of asteroids that are right over there. Oh boy. Uh, you know, we're close enough to all these and they're all so close together. Let's see if we can... We'll scout these out and see if we get lucky. Oh, and it looks like we've got a server restart imminent. So it's probably good to not be traveling at high speed. Alright. That is either silver or ice. I think that's ice. Yep. So we've got some ice. Uh, looks like cobalt over there, or maybe magnesium. Yeah, ice and magnesium. Okay. Well, we'll hold here, uh, waiting for the server restart. Let's see if I can get these doors set up. So the way this system works, uh, if I just search starboard, so I have the two event controllers. Each one I have checking doors. So for the interior block, I will have it check if the starboard exterior door is open, and then 
I go to starboard. I'll have the interior door and I will have it off and on. Nope. Off and on. There we go. So, what this system will do, if it detects that the exterior door is open, it will turn off the interior door. Meaning that when the external airlock door is open, you can't open the inner one. When I close the exterior door, it'll go to the alternate state, which, op which turns on the interior door. Now I go to the exterior. It monitors the interior door uh, of the right side. And then it controls the exterior. So now let me just make sure I did that right. Yep, monitors the exterior, monitors the interior. And then controls the exterior. Controls the interior. Okay. So now if that's worked, if I open this door, this one's off. Can't be opened. Close that door. That one comes on. And... That doesn't work. Alright. I wonder why. Ah. Because that was off. That would do it. Okay. I forgot that was the old turret one and I turned it off to save some power because we no longer had a turret. So there we go. Now, with this system, it's not a perfect solution because it is possible to accidentally lock both airlocks open like I've just done. Uh, there is a delay. I think that this sends the open command when it's fully opened, but air can pass through once it's just cracked open. So, you still have to you know, know how to use the airlock. Which I just did wrong because I just locked myself out of it. But, uh... Yeah. Not perfect, but it does help automate the system so you can't quite as easily screw up. You don't have a situation where both doors are left open. All right, we're back from the uh, server restart. I'm just gonna cruise over to these asteroids because this batch didn't have any uranium. See what's going on over here. Uh, we'll cruise real slowly. And then the last sort of interior thing I need to do, aside from maybe a light right here, So, the last thing I need to do is fill the spot. Maybe these spots. I could maybe... Hmm. So, I could put, like, another desk here. I could put something decorative. I would like it to be usable. I did think about having the aquarium. Uh. Oh, actually, this makes sense. I like the aquarium idea, but. I really probably should have somewhere where, like, you know, I sort store stuff. Uh. I'm peaceful, so I don't need weapons. Bookshelf would be tempting, but probably not in here. Say so, yeah. 
have locker and an armory. Which I think makes some sense to... You know, have in the medical room where I would be respawning. Getting close to these. This almost seems like that's not very far away. So I wonder if it counts as the same stuff as these or not. I'm hopeful. I'm sort of aiming for these cluster asteroids. Partially because this is the one time I found uranium. It was in a situation sort of like this. Because I don't really have a good way to spot it on the surface, I think this might be my best bet. Just kind of go with similar looking situations. Is that just rock, or is that an ore? Uh, looks like the thing I saw was just rock, and that has nickel in it. It's probably a little nickel spot on this one. Try not to ram into the side. Oh, boy. Oh, Yeah, that's what I didn't want to have happen. Great. Well. I mean, I think this is, yeah, this is just armor. I guess we reclaim it. Probably should have kicked my uh, hydrogen on for that one. Well. Have plenty of nickel. Is there anything else of value here? If I just kind of skitter around. Not looking likely. Here is, that looks like ice. Yep. Okay, nickel and ice on this one. Neither of which is particularly useful to repair my sheared off the, uh, wing. Oh. That's interesting, there is gold in this one. Gold and ice. Okay, this may be like a little cluster. Scout out here. Oh, yeah. So, nickel, gold, and ice. That's kind of tricky. Because you're used to, uh... Because gold and nickel look so similar. You'd get here and realize it was gold. Oh! And platinum. A little bit. Okay, yeah, let's check all these things. Nickel and platinum. Not particularly useful. This was the ice. I think this one was nickel. Nope, that's gold. And ice. Okay, well, hmm, there is some stuff here. I don't think I've looked at this little ball. No, I did, that's nickel. So some stuff, but not uranium. Let's get this stuff built and then I suppose we will finish up and maybe continue our uh, uranium hunt in this little asteroid cluster next time. I'm gonna go, just cause this one's close, I'm gonna head over here. I 
And if this one has uranium, I will be very happy. Okay, not seeing anything yet. And I think park myself in this little divot. Try not to scrape any more wings off. And I may do a quick little hand scout. Sure, locked. Also, just unrelated, uh, it's going to be these two, I think. Yeah, let's up the radius just so they cast a little more light around. Get a teeny bit of light into this corner. I mean, this is a pretty good sized asteroid. Now, I've not detected any ores. Oh, my, my signal is right here. I guess I might as well. Uh, I don't think, yeah, this isn't one that flies away. Hello, normal signal. Another leopard grinder, or welder. Uh, some more space bucks. And a canvas for good luck. Well, we'll continue our search, but I don't see much here. And given how rich that asteroid just over there is, I'm wondering if this one maybe is barren. Yeah, I think... I don't think there's much here. Ah, well. We'll stay here. I may uh, repair the wings off camera because I never fixed the other one. But, yeah, I think we'll end the episode here. Next time, we'll continue on. I may just jump to Mars next time because, I mean, we got all our design stuff done. I basically just need to build the roof. And then we're pretty well sorted as a ship and it's just a matter of finding the signals. So yeah, uh, we'll end it here on a nice, well, I have an idea. There we go. A lot of commercials on right now, but yeah, uh, thank you everybody so much for watching. We will continue this epic journey and, I don't know, maybe see a strong unknown signal again next time. So until then, bye bye.